I am a physician, but I'm unable to find a job yet. Should I think that it is my destiny and stop searching for uh, jobs? As far as it is your destiny, the word destiny means has been preordained yeah. for you. Not to find a job now, but you're not sure whether it is your destiny forever yeah. not to find a job. At tawakkul, the true reliance on Allah the Almighty and how you put your trust in Allah mm. is by following the means. You apply for a job here or there in several places. You acquire higher degrees. You get your internship. You talk to people. This is called following the means. Then, while putting your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he has saved something for you better than what you expect. Yeah. But you don't know it. And that's why you keep trying. Mm -hmm. But you quit because you think that it is your destiny. How do you know that it is your destiny? This is similar exactly to the person who claims that since Allah has already preordained my fate, destiny, whether to heaven or to hell, why shall I worship? Why shall I do or abstain from doing certain things? It's already been decided. That would be true if you have already an assurance that is going to be your fate, but you don't know. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Everyone should work hard and follow the means. Mm. Everyone will find it easy to achieve what he has been created for. In addition to that, the Prophet ﷺ has guided us to some supplications and invocations which would facilitate finding a job and increasing one's provision. The greatest, of, of course, is constantly seeking forgiveness, saying Astaghfirullah or Astaghfirullah al azim wa atubu ilayh. Ask in Allah uh, in your prayer, in your sujood, to increase your provision. Uh, one of the most beautiful supplications, our Lord give us a goodly reward in the life of this world and a goodly reward in the hereafter and protect us again is the far of hell. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fi al-akhirati hasanatan wa qina adab al-nar. So the worldly reward would cover a job, provision, wife, children, progress, success, you name it. Okay? Uh, ask righteous people to pray for you. That too is a permissible mean of approach. And asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for you. Giving in a charity, even though your book, giving in a charity and helping somebody to fulfill his need would uh, facilitate you finding a job yeah. and help out. To make it easy for you. Since the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith, من كان في حاجة أخيه كان الله في حاجته. كان الله في عون العبد ما دام العبد في عون أخيه. As long as you are assisting others, Allah will be assisting you as well. You fulfill the need of others, Allah will fulfill your needs as well. Like, I love his word of encouragement. That is what you need to know. You need to believe in yourself. That's why we say that. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Yes, you lost your job. You don't know whether God is planning a better one for you. It might take months. It might take years. It might take, you know, only God knows how long. But God can never leave you. And as long as you are prayerful, you are hardworking, and you, your intentions are, are pure, that is, you really want it. You know, there are some people that they want a job, but they are not putting effort to get a job. But if you put in effort, Allah crowns every effort. Every effort you make, Allah is seeing it. You just want to see how patient you can be. You just want to see how faithful you can be to him. You want to know, my son, my daughter, how long can you go? Like, do you really love me? Can you go through this? You get it? So, Get if you lost a job, don't lose hope. Not not even a job. No matter the situation you find yourself, do not lose hope. Try again. Try again. Try again. That's why they say lesson is the best teacher. The best teacher you can ever have in this life is when you learn something. You fail when you fail at something, you will know how to correct yourself. Because people that fail have a better chance of correcting their mistakes and have a better chance of growing. Because when you fail at this, you'll be like, oh, let me try this method. Oh, okay. It seems this method did not work. Oh, let's go this way. Let's do this. Let's do this. And by the time you're learning from your mistakes, you're learning from other people's mistakes, you will do better. 
So finding a job is not an it's not something that is hard. To me, I believe it's something that you can just be. Yes, there are some people that they might they are still struggling over the years to get a job along the line they'll give up they'll lose hope thinking that oh god has Allah has forgotten them you know everything they try to do it, it does not work the way they want it if they try this it will backfire if they try that it will backfire yes i understand it can be so tough but please uh, just believe in god keep on trying while you're trying don't be too desperate I know sometimes we can be so desperate that ah I need this thing, I need this thing. The situation of things are not yeah, are not really good. Oh family, these children's school fees, this and that. But just calm yourself down. Well, desperation can lead to something else that you might later regret. When you're too desperate, you might find yourself in a wrong hands. When you're too desperate, you might not you can you know you can cause a lot of calamity. A lot of things can come in place. So don't be too desperate. I would say yes, you can work hard, keep trying, try new methods, learn from your mistakes, keep praying. One thing I know for sure, if you are hard working and you 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 keep pushing, then Allah will see your efforts and grant you your desires. It's people that that don't push, people that don't have the eagerness for the success to make it. People that easily lose hope and they, they, there's no eagerness, they just want everything. Oh, well, that's why I don't like people that say, anything goes, if God give me, if God does, God does not give me. No, you have to know what you want. In life, everybody knows what they want. You can't tell me you don't know what you want, that anything, anything is okay with me. How? Oh, why? Why should everything or anything be okay with you? You should have a choice. You should have something that you, you desire. And when you desire it, put it in your prayers every day. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. Put effort. Don't just pray. Some people make a mistake by praying, 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 and not taking the step or not giving a try. Some people might pray, pray, pray. They'll give a try once or maybe three times and they'll give up that. Well, it did not work out. Let me just stay like that. No. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. I love the when the man advised the, the other man that you cannot say maybe you are destined to get a job. Yeah, no. Nobody is destined to be a failure in this life. Nobody is destined to be a failure. Yes, failures will come. It's part of the challenges we have to face. Yes, failure comes, failure go. But it don't say it's a permanent thing. Failure cannot be a permanent mark in your life. No. You, are, you, you, you have the choice to make things work and better for you. That is why you need to pray. You need to be diligent. You need to be hardworking. You need to have faith. Faith. Faith can move mountains. When you have faith, faith can solve so many things. Sometimes, even though you don't pray, but you just believe that God has done it. And you remove your mind and say, I know God has done this thing. And nobody say, it's not that you, you, you make that um, pronunciation or declaration that God has done it and tomorrow you are still worried. <laughs> oh, why will God, why will God do this? God does not like people that moments or complain. If you are complaining too much, you are stretching your, your period of our time. You are stretching it out because God does not like people that moment. He likes people that believe that he is God and he will do it. That was a beautiful one. I was really moved by it. This is not only about job. It can be any situation you find yourself. Academic-wise, you know, business-wise, you know, career-wise, anything, anything. You, you Name it, name it. God will see us through. God will see you through. Just believe and be prayerful. Be prayerful, believe, and work hard. That, is, that's, that should be your motto. Your motto is to pray. You believe that God will do it because you've prayed and you work hard towards what you're praying for. You get it. So guys, it's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching up to this time. You are my real, real, real VIPs. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.